The alarm needs to be sounded. A dark shadow looms on the horizon. A day of retribution for the wicked is coming. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is near and it will come as destruction from the Almighty. The Bible warns about a time that is coming when God will pour out his judgment on mankind for their sins against him and their rejection of Jesus Christ. A day of wrath is that day, a day of trouble and distress, a day of destruction and desolation, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. This time period will last for seven years and following the Battle of Armageddon will culminate in the second coming of Jesus Christ to establish his millennial kingdom and reign on earth. The tribulation is made up of three judgment phases. The opening of the seals, Revelation chapter 6. The blowing of trumpets, Revelation chapter 6 through 9. And the pouring of bowls, Revelation chapter 16. Each seal, each trumpet and each bowl inflicts one terrible disaster after another with increasing intensity. The first four seals are also known as the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The first seal will be opened. A conqueror will be sat on a white horse. The Antichrist will sign an agreement with the Jewish nation. This covenant will be made to guarantee the security of Israel. The second seal will be opened. A rider sat on a red horse is given a great sword. The Bible describes this as a time of war and slaughter everywhere. The third seal. A rider sat on a black horse will have a pair of scales in his hand. After the world conflict, there will be a widespread famine. The fourth seal, the rider sat on a pale or yellowish green horse, is given a name. His name is Death. He comes to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beasts of the earth. One fourth of the world's population will die in this judgment alone. The fifth seal, a multitude of people will come to faith in Jesus Christ during the seven years of the tribulation, but many of these believers will become martyrs. The sixth seal, there will be a great earthquake. Every mountain and island will be moved out of its place. The sun will be darkened, the moon will become like blood, and stars will fall from the heavens. A terrified humanity will cry out to the mountains and rocks to hide them from the wrath of the Almighty. This is just the start of what is to come. But there is a way of escape from these troubles that are coming. The Bible says, call on the name of the Lord and you will be saved. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. For those who believe, the Bible says that God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through Jesus Christ who died for us. The opening of the seventh seal will prepare the seven angels to sound their trumpets that will usher in a second wave of judgments. At the sound of the first trumpet, hail and fire mixed with blood will be hurled to the earth, burning up a third of all vegetation. One third of the sea will be turned into blood. A great star will fall from heaven and poison one third of the freshwater rivers and springs. Many people will die as a result of their contaminated water supply. When the fourth trumpet sounds, one third of the heavens go dark, causing drastic atmospheric changes, including an extreme decrease in temperature. For those left behind, the fifth trumpet will sound and the abyss will be opened. A gigantic swarm of demons will be let loose on the earth and they will torment those who are not protected by God. Many people who are still alive during that time will long for death, but they will be unable to die. To the sixth angel who will sound the trumpet, this command will be given. Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. An army of 200 million men from the east will come and destroy one third of the world's population. But those who remain will not repent of their wicked ways.
God's judgment is coming to this world and yet we are living in the day of salvation. God is patient towards you and he longs that you come to Jesus for salvation. There is salvation in no one else. Only Jesus Christ has the power to save. Will you ask Jesus to save you now? Will you be rescued from the coming tribulation? Will you be saved from the horrors that are to come? God says, turn to me and be saved. Just when it seems like it can't get any worse, the seventh trumpet will call forth seven angels who carry the bowls of God's wrath. Painful sores will afflict those who have the mark of the beast. Every living creature in the sea will die. All the fresh waters will be turned to blood. The sun will scorch humanity with fire. The world will be plunged into darkness. The great river Euphrates will be dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. They will gather together for the great battle of Armageddon. The seventh and final bold judgment brings the tribulation to its catastrophic conclusion. The greatest earthquake the world has ever seen will be accompanied by huge hailstones falling from heaven. By revealing the disasters yet to come, God gives us a warning that we must listen to. If we're to avoid these approaching horrors, we must turn to Jesus and be saved. When we trust in Jesus Christ for salvation, we can be assured that his hand will remove us from the earth before these disasters arrive. Act today, act now and you have no need to fear about being caught in the tribulation. Remember, today is the day of salvation.